Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 3, where we are playing as Prince Casa Hailu of Begemder. Now, I think I may have undersold just how lucky we were in that first video. I mean, uh, particularly with uh, particularly with the reforms we passed, two absolutely essential reforms that the landowners imposed, and we were able to get them to pass on the first tick. That's uh, that is not something that happens. So if you're counting on that to happen, if you're using this as a guide for Ethiopia, just know it's not going to be that easy to do what I just did. Now, you might encounter uh, luck as good as mine uh, when it comes to uniting the provinces, however. We, we did have pretty good luck. Although right now, because we have conquered new land, we are now uh, behind on our bureaucratic efficiency. So in addition to, uh, in addition to uh, logging camps, we're going to need to get a government administration building and probably multiple government administration buildings to get this number back up. And... Um, after that, after that first logging camp is fill is is built in and and it's it's filled up its numbers a bit, I may attempt to uh, for the first time expand our construction because we do need to get on that as soon as possible. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's our plan in, in, for the time being. I'm, I'm gonna butter up Egypt for a bit and uh, wait for uh, maybe wait for our our, our infamy to to go down. Ah, Egypt is now... Uh, looks like Egypt's occupied. I think Egypt is is now uh, going to war with the Ottoman Empire. They were... Uh, Egypt was uh, formerly a vassal, but functionally uh, functionally independent at this period uh, under under the Khedive. Uh, so I'm going to uh, get that logging camp built. I probably do need more barracks because uh, my uh, army has not expanded conquest as much as I hoped it would. So, I'm going to I'm going to get on that. I will uh, probably skip ahead to the next uh, notable event, as opposed to uh, as opposed to keep talking through this uh, this uh, speed five run. So, I'll talk. Uh, I'll be. Uh, you'll be hearing from me then. Okay. It looks as though Gojam wants to somehow conquer Sidamo. Not sure how they expect to pull that off. We'll see who else gets otherwise busy and involved in this. And possibly take advantage and attack. I would like to get to, uh, to Kaffa as soon as possible, but uh, there's, no, there's no real rush in that since I don't have colonial affairs yet. So we'll have to see. Okay, and then Harar is against them as well. Since most of my most powerful neighbors seem to be aligned against Gojam at the moment. I might get my, uh, I might get my port out of the way early. Um... Uh, having a port isn't ne isn't uh, necessarily the most crucial thing in the world at this stage, uh, since we uh, since we have isolationism anyway. But uh, couldn't hurt, uh, especially uh, especially getting in on the action while Egypt is busy. So I'll see if I can uh, if I can swing this, if I can make this happen. Mobilizing Tetos here. Ah. Well, now there's a problem. We do have allies on our side, at least. So we got that going for us. Who could, what can we add, then? Nothing valid just yet. But let's get our uh, let's get our constructs up. 
because this might be a trickier fight than anticipated for all the numbers we have. For as little... Eh, for as little admin as we have, we're going to need another general, unfortunately. So yeah, let's move the line there. And hold the line there. Then wait for the stage of this where we can add. Well, it looks like we can't. Oh, we were brought in. Oh, I see. Be because we had an obligation. Uh, we were brought in because of our obligation. The obligation that uh, that we owed them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm s I, I see. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. I, I, in, in exchange for joining our war, we owed them an obligation. So when they called us in, we had to go. We had to come. I see what's. Yeah, I see. Ah, and uh, it looks like Alsa backed down. So all all our all our units can. Uh, uh, it's annoying that uh, they're going to get it instead of us, but at least it, it's not the one we really wanted anyway. So uh, hopefully this doesn't put us on a truce with them. It probably does. Shit. Probably puts yeah puts us on a truce with them, and uh, so. Let's get Tedros on this front. Actually, no. No, I lied. This front. That guy can hold. That guy can hold while Welliga advances. Excellent. So, well, I say excellent, I really mean annoying. But, uh, yeah, let's attack along this axis. What are their war goals? They didn't add any, so that's good. At least there'll be some left over for us. And, uh, we've, yeah, we've expanded our construction. That's uh, hurt our budget a bit, but we should be able, I think, to both ex to expand both our, our lumber industry and our uh, ad administrative efficiency enough so, so that we can save it in time, basically. You can see we have our port here. So that will help us in the future, although not necessarily right now. Not having a, a port kind of a, was was kind of a problem for Ethiopia you know, for for a lot of the mid second month when the uh, Medrabari, the Kingdom of the Sea, where Eritrea is now, they were kind of uh, they're culturally linked to Ethiopia. They were kind of in and out of uh, of the empire. Occasionally they were a tributary state. Occasionally they were an integral por portion. Occasionally they were completely independent. And then for a few hundred years, they were more or less under Ottoman control. Uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia, the, the relation between them culturally, you, you can 
can kind of compare them to uh, Germany and Austria. Uh, but even in the same sense where they were both briefly part of the same country, uh, but it didn't go well. And uh, no, one want, no one really wants it now. So the main offensive in Sadamo looks like it's more or less complete. We'll see where, uh, where they bring... Uh, bring their armies. We have it. Ah, now we appear to have allies on this on this front, so let's advance. We're advancing well against Harar. I'm curious to again once again. I am curious to see if I'm going to be a bit screwed over here by uh, truces. Okay, so. We have now won the war. That was a very quick capitulation there. Uh, and my dogs are making a lot of noise when it happened, so I couldn't capture it as it happened. Uh, so, the... Uh, as a result of the obligations we owe, let's see. Do we have do we have peace treaties in place that keep us from uh, declaring war? We do. That is deeply annoying. It, uh, it delays uh, our plans considerably. <sighs> well, I, I suppose that's a lesson learned for me to bring in allies with obligations. But, you know, that's, that's one thing that's, that's good about the new uh, diplomatic play system, the new war system. Your neighbors are going are, are to have opinions about uh, what you're doing. And uh, you're going to need to be able to stop them, uh, or you're going to need, uh, or they're going to want to try and stop you, and you're going to want to try and stop them. So I, I, I appreciate that. It basically turns every war into a crisis war, and crisis wars are one of my favorite parts of Victoria too. So I got no problem with it. Let's see, is, is there anyone at the moment that I can declare war on, using the, especially using the Unite CB, uh, Go Jam itself. I want to consider it. Well, first, I will want to pay for that uh, new expanded construction with better administration and more logging. Because, yeah, we, we do need wood for that. And right now, yeah, construction goods are the main thing keeping us from being over the hump. That and our, our low uh, bureaucratic efficiency. So we'll be fixing that before we do anything else. Hmm. You know what? We got more men than GoJam does. And because of truces, there aren't really anybody, they're, they're, they really don't have that many people who can help them. And this would get us, of, of our two available wars, this would get us more territory. So I, think I'm, uh, so I think I'm going for it. Egypt's relations with us are cordial, so even if they weren't otherwise occupied, they wouldn't get involved. So we're mobilizing our generals, activating our conscripts, Getting one to the front, getting uh, Uldu to the front line here. And Tendros to the front line here. And that should get us two successful, uh, two successful offensives. full annexation with the Unite Ethiopia CV. Okay. Um, 
Wait, are they both deployed to the same spot, or...? Hmm. Well, they're gonna be like that. Let's have them switch spots. This will get us enough of an advantage. Oh shit. Looks like we will need to re recruit another general after all. Hmm, wait, did Kappa get involved? If that's so... And perhaps... I can add this, because that's going to be very important. It'll get me my border with my future coal, coal province. I can't think of well anything well I could pro possibly want. We'll s I'll only think about it if they add another uh, if they add another friend into this war. Which they very well might. Instead of the two they have, no one else is leaning their way at the moment. Yeah, this is yeah I yeah um. You know, sorry if this ruffles any feathers, but to me, this is way better than just uh, in Victoria 2, where you just roll the Wheel of Infamy. I do think there are some tweaks that need to be made to this system. It should be possible, for instance, to join a war that's already in progress, because, you know, that happens in time, in real life. Ah, we've unlocked colonization, so we'll be able to get colonial affairs. Um, and we've unlocked gunsmithing as well and some other early tech have spread to us. So, question is, what do we want at this point? Do we want to go with a military tech, or... Well, we're going to, to want to focus a bit on handicraft. I think cotton um, gin would be helpful for us at this stage. Although... Academia would allow us to, would get us a step close to being able to expand our education institution. Well, I'll go with this for now and keep uh, academia in mind. I still have faith in Casa Hailu's ability to advance here in spite of being outnumbered because he's such a great, uh, such a great battlefield commander. Going to boost assimilation there. Hopefully this gambit pays off. Now Egypt's declared neutrality. We don't have to worry about anybody else getting involved. We're on our own. How many uh, brigades do we have in reserve? None. So we've deployed everyone we're going to deploy. Now we'll win this front quickly. Once that's done, I'll send them to the capital.
as you can see, we, we have a, we have a 47 offense because of just how damn good our uh, our leader is. It's on pause. All right, now let's get both these guys to advance. As he, yeah, because we, we were able to sweep into Gojam proper very quickly. And we're pushing forward quite well. Very important if you're playing an Ethiopian miner to always take the Always take the event that lets you uh, get Casa Hailu. So, make sure we advance well enough. Okay, this is annoying and unfortunate. Gonna need to go to where the army actually is. And probably... Move these guys here. Hopefully they can be there soon enough. Stop them from getting cut off. Good, 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 good. So, Gojam should be out of the war soon. We can focus all our attention on Kalpha. Runs can be a little finicky to manage, especially when you end up splitting your enemy's uh, like force in half or whatever. Because, you know, sometimes what ends up happening is your force, for whatever reason, moves on to where there are none, and the, the, the enemy pushes them back uh, in areas where they don't have, where you don't have anyone guarding. I, I suppose that's one reason it's helpful to have lots of generals, so you can, you know, use them to plug it, gaps in the line. It's, um, it's, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it an improvement, but Victoria 2's, uh, our army macro wasn't very good. It was really just, um, you know, it, it was really just, you know, you, you, you there was on, really only one correct unit composition or ratio of five infantry to four artillery plus one, uh, plus one cavalry brigade, um, and uh, you use that basically throughout the whole game and point bigger stacks at smaller stacks. Uh, still, I will not dispute the many, many videos being made about the flaws in this war system. But I, I, I feel as though I've gotten a, a kind of a skewed positive impression because I think the war system is particularly interesting in an area like in a play, in an area like Ethiopia, where you gotta deal with regional politics and uh, fighting a whole bunch of miners, and the the diplomatic play system is great for that. And you know the the, the front line system, you, uh, you you know it it really places a bigger emphasis on the quality of your leadership, and so strong leaders and strong warlords like Casa Hailu the future Tedros, uh, can, uh, can really turn the tide in your favor. So, I, I yeah, there are aspects of this I'm quite fond of. Uh, I'm, yeah, the, the more territory I add, the more government administration buildings I'm going to need to build. Um, eventually, the, the more, eventually uh, when I get the right, the right uh, tech implemented there, the more paper I'm going to need, so I'm going to need even more wood. Lots of expansion of my industry necessary at this juncture.
That should almost do it for Kappa. In the meantime, almost forgot. I'm going to need to. I'm going to reform the government. Bring in the armed forces. So that I can pass. Colonial Affairs. And I'm going to need even more bureaucracy for that. So, yeah, a lot of things I might end up needing. I, I may need to uh, dial back on my construction expansion at this stage if I don't want to... Re uh, ring up a lot of debt. Ringing up a bit of debt is fine. You got to spend money to make money in this game. So you, you can't be afraid for the number uh, to have the number go red. You don't necessarily want to be holding your hoarding your gold reserves, but you don't want to be over leveraged either. Now we have oh, a very strong uh, colonial affairs movement. Uh, they're going to, uh, one that they're willing to enforce by revolution if necessary. So it's going to have to put off that from for now. But yeah. So that's our first real reform obstacle there. We're we're uh, we're going to uh, need to find a way to uh, improve our to get our colonial uh, affairs set up so we can get that coal we need. I mean, this is not optional. It is a requirement, and um, depending on how powerful. I'm going to give it a go in the next attempt and see how pow exactly how powerful the uh, revolution against it might be. If it is too powerful, it, it, because if, if, if our force is more powerful than theirs, then I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, to bite the bullet and, and risk that revolution anyway. So... Uh, that's going to have to wait for another video, however. Uh, in this video, we have, expand, have expanded to the south. We're getting closer and closer to uniting the uh, traditional Abyssinian lands. Uh, we have also uh, managed to you know, build, build up more of our administration. Not enough yet. But uh, we, we have begun the process of building the apparatuses we need to administer a larger state. Uh, as, for the, uh, as for the next steps in uh, the building of our empire, that'll have to wait till next video. Until next time, I have been Marikati. You have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.